Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a normal patient, and they have a ligament down here on the outside. This is called the fibular collateral ligament that comes off the lateral side of the femur. This is the femur, and over here we have the fibular collateral ligament coming down obliquely to this bone. This is the fibula, the little bone in the leg. This is the tibia, the big bone. This is the little bone here, so we see this oblique dark band. This is called the fibular collateral ligament, one of the lateral stabilizers of the knee. And it comes down and it blends with another one. This is the biceps muscle, which is gray. There's a dark band here, the central tendon. And the muscle disappears and becomes all tendon. This is the biceps tendon. And the biceps tendon blends with this and forms a common tendon here called the conjoined tendon like a V. They come together and this very short conjoined tendon attaches to the base of the fibula, this bone here. So this is a normal case. It attaches right here. Now we're going to look at another case and we'll look at the same area here. Now this is a 27 year old male who recently injured their knee maybe about 10 days ago and this patient has a problem over here where the fibular collateral ligament attaches. We see there's a little defect. It looks like it's scooped out and the bone is uh, fractured and the bone is retracted or distracted proximally all the way up here, about 2.5 centimeters. So it's like a puzzle piece. This should fit right into here and make this round, but instead it's fractured and distracted proximally a good distance. We can see here this little dark band is the conjoined tendon, and this is that biceps that comes down to form part of the conjoined tendon. This is that fibular collateral ligament that comes over here to join. So we do have intact biceps, intact fibular collateral ligament, intact joint, conjoined tendon, but the problem here is just that fracture from the fibula that allows us to distract proximally. All this gray stuff here, or intermediate signal, this is all hemorrhage, blood products mixed with maybe granulation tissue, but a fracture at the base of the fibula, and luckily these uh, ligamentous and tendinous structures out here are intact. When those are ruptured, it's harder to repair them because it's, sometimes they're irregular, it's hard to find them. Uh, but when the bone is fractured like this, it's much cleaner. They can take the bone down and just set it back into its position, bolt things back in there or fix them back uh, with internal orthopedic fixation hardware. And then they do pretty good because the ligaments and tendons are not ruptured. So fracture the base of the fibula. And thank you very much.